Okay, welcome to Eddie News, your most authoritative news updates on educational issues in Ghana and around the world. My name is Ruth Bazeng. Now to our first story. President Nana Adudan Kweko Fada says the pre tertiary bill is aimed at promoting science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM education across all levels of the education system and has urged teacher unions in Ghana to deepen their engagement with the Ministry of Education in order to find a consensus to move the bill forward. He said this when addressing Parliament in his State of the Nation's address. Take a look. The emphasis is aggressively to promote science, technology and in engineering and mathematics, STEM education, across all levels of the education system. I'm aware that some of the teacher unions have concerns over the proposed legislation. I would like to add my voice to that of Parliament in encouraging the unions to deepen their engagement with the Ministry of Education in order to find a consensus that will enable the bill to go forward in peace. You heard there His Excellency President Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado. Also, 826 students of the Takradi Technical University are to repeat either a class or semester because they failed to register at the beginning of the first semester of this academic year, as required by the university. Rather sad, 21 senior high schools in the Upper West region missed out on this year's preliminaries of the National Math and Science Quiz competition due to lack of funds. Only three schools, St. Francis Xavier Minor Seminary, St. Ignatius of Loyola, and Wa Senior High Technical School participated in the regional competition. I'll bring you news from around the world after this break. Stay tuned. Outline that you make the best out of this conference and let's help bridge the gap in education in Africa, in Ghana, and around you. And I want to encourage every teacher and every owner of a school, enroll your teachers here to come learn so that they can be motivated, so that they can be equipped with the right kinds of tools and strategies to improve the teaching and learning process in the classroom. In news from around the world, still on the novel coronavirus outbreak, the Kenyan government will disburse 1.3 million shilling for the upkeep of Kenyan students in Wuhan, following anxious appeals after a coronavirus lockdown left students confined to their residences and unable to buy food. However, the Ghanaian government says it has no immediate plans to evacuate the 151 Ghanaian students in Wuhan. Here's what the president has to say during the State of the Nation address. Most of these students are on Chinese government scholarships. And since the crisis started, the Chinese government has done its best to keep them supplied with food and other logistics. The Ghana government, through its mission, also supplies logistics, and the embassy has given, so far, 500 United States dollars to each student. However, we know that no amount of logistics will make up for the extreme stress and stroma that these young people are going through. And I treat members of this honorable house to set an example by helping to pour oil over troubled waters. You heard there His Excellency President Anna Adodankwa Ekufuado. Thank you for watching Edu News once again. My name is Ruth Bazeng. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching School World TV, brought to you by Neogenics Education Group.